Hi, in this exercise we're going to talk about the process of digitizing. The process of digitizing is basically tracing from a georeferenced image so we can give something geographic coordinates. We're going to go back to the soil map that we created here in our georeferencing exercise associated with chapter 11. And you can see when I look down at the bottom right, now we have real world geographic coordinates associated with this. And the whole goal of this is what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to trace some of these soil regimes or soil polygons that we've created from this. When I open up my GIS data layer for my soils here, you can see I've created one in our catalog. And it's all that I have is a FID, a shape, an ID, and a type that I've added in. And I think I allocated maybe 50, uh, 50 places for my text right here to show what type it is. So what I'm going to try to do is open up an edit session and literally try to trace all of these soil regimes. I could try to extract these, but you can see here there's a lot of different things going on here. And I want to extract out the soil type uh, A right here. You can see for soils, you can see one of the polygons that I've already extracted. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to reopen up my edit session again. And I'm going to look at this one here. So I have my editor, and I can add this through my customize and my customize mode if I really want to. Um, you can see that in my editor, I've, I've already added this to my uh, ArcGIS application here. And I'm going to click on start editing. And you can see soils is the only feature that I have right here so that I can go through and and edit because this is the only shape file or only uh, personal geo database file that I have here. And you can see when I typically digitize, I want to digitize at a very, very high scale. Okay, so you can see the, the outline of this. If I were digitizing at you know one to a hundred thousand, you would see my accuracy is really far off when I eventually zoomed in. I want to capture the outline of this as quickly as possible. So as you can understand, the process of digitizing is really a time and resource intensive process. So typically, if you go into the work uh, field of GIS and you're hired as a, a GIS intern or a GIS technician, this is going to be a lot of the work that you're going to be doing at first. And this is just part of data development right here. So you can see here, I'm going to click on my soils right here, and lots of different things that I can constru construct. I have freehand, ellipse, circle. I'm going to click on my polygon right here, and now you can start to see I'm just going to trace the outline right here, okay, as quickly or as closely as possible here, and quickly too, okay. And you can see I, I have other toolbars. I can create semicircles or cut polygons, but you're going to see I'm just going to trace the outline right here as closely and as uh, as closely as possible. When I'm done, I double click on it, and you can see it's been added. Now when I open up my attribute table, I can single click in my type right here, and like we did with spatial data exercises that you're going to talk about, I can type in type right here. And when I'm finished, I click the word enter or type in enter, type enter here. And now when I zoom out, we have these two GIS data layers that represent our soil regime A. You can look at all the different soil regimes that we have here covering it up, so you can imagine this is going to be a very time and resource intensive process. When I'm done, I always click on Stop Editing, and it's going to ask me if you want to save your edits. And now I can do that. So in short, the process of spatial data editing is a very resource intensive process for the exercise that we're going to cover in our class. I'm going to just familiarize yourself by tracing the outline of NCCU campus, but you can see even creating the soils or trying to extract these, it's going to be very difficult. We can extract from the imagery doing some image processing applications, but you can see we have a lot of roads, and buildings, and what we call noise on this map. So kind of creating this outline here of, say, the CO is going to be a little bit difficult because there's going to be other things in there. So sometimes your last resort is going to be to literally trace these.